Greetings, my name is Pastor Iblis. This is my part two video response for Bad Cop 69's videos on pedophiles and pedophilia. In the beginning of this one, I'm going to recap where we were at the end of the other video because the response that I had was cut off by time. So here's a recap of what Bad Cop 69 had said. Now again, I'm not trying to be an advocate or advocacy for relationships between men and grown men and children. But I think you're not looking into this more than skin deep when you're not looking at this situation. I found in a lot of my research you know, of, of different sexualities, different sexual natures, really pulling my friends or being a party to situations. Sometimes it's about honest to goodness love. There are so many red flags that go off with that, that honestly, I really, really, really wish the police in your area would investigate you. I wish the FBI would watch this and do an investigation on you. Because, first of all, research on this, I would be real curious. Cite your source. All right, you want to claim you're doing actual research on this? Cite your fucking source, Black uh, Bad Cop 69. That's number one. If you're doing actual research, cite your source. Number two, polling your friends. How the fuck does a conversation like that get fucking started? And how the fuck would your friends know jack shit about what a pedophile, what type of relationship a pedophile would want with a child unless they fucking are pedophiles. Then there's the aspect and you are fixing your glasses and being very careful in what you say when you say certain situations you've been a party to. What situations would they be? Would that be the molestation of a child? Because you are romanticizing. You're putting it into a framework. People don't look at it in the right framework. Well, let's look again at what a framework is. It is a set of assumptions, concepts, which are ideas, values, and practices that constitute a way of viewing reality. That is what you are doing. The framework you are building is a framework of a child molester. There is no fucking reason for an adult to be in a romantic relationship with a child. A child is not mentally equipped to deal with a relationship of that nature. From my own life, I know from when I was in my 20s and I dated women that were 18 and 19. The maturity difference is a big issue. A child doesn't have the maturity a, an adult should. If an adult is immature like a child, there is something wrong in their head. A child would not be able to deal with a relationship with an adult. The two worlds are too far apart. So the framework you're trying to build is based on bullshit. That is why people get pissed off at you, because you are advocating a sexual relationship with children. I don't think you understand the actual romantic side of this particular sexuality or mindset that they would want to have some sort of actual meaningful connection and that sex would be sort of a bonus to that again I'm working a lot with the, the research here I haven't fully pinned this stuff down yet but I'm frameworking it in what people tend to framework it in I understand quite well you sick fuck 
What you don't understand is there is no romantic side of an adult with a child. The idea of they want to have a relationship, a meaningful relationship, where sex is a bonus, with fucking children? That is called child molestation, you stupid jackass. And to say, well, you're working the framework, you don't really have all this research pinned down, but you're working the framework in how those that framework it. Well, that's like saying, you are trying to use the mindset and the justifications of the pedophile and child molester to excuse the pedophile and child molester. That is fucking stupid, you moron. As far as your claim of these child molesters want to have meaningful relationships, look at the fucking comments I've gotten from a follower of yours, one of your cronies, that is from the Netherlands, Nowhere in any of his comments is he saying a goddamn word about wanting some kind of meaningful relationship where sex would be a bonus. All he is interested in is putting his dick into a 14-year-old pussy. That's all he cares about. Don't hand me this shit that he's not a rapist, that he's not a child molester, that you are promoting this shit, that you are encouraging this shit. You are guilty of promoting child molestation. Your own words are what are discrediting you, fuckwad. It kind of takes things away from being just a purely sexually driven, depraved thing that these people want to kind of get into. I am, again, and I'm not trying to advocate relationships at this point between children and grown adults. I don't think you understand that they would want to have some sort of actual meaningful connection and that sex would be sort of a bonus to that. And I think you're, you're not entirely understanding the ramifications and the frameworking of the situations here. There is no way to kind of get into child molestation. Let's be clear on that. And let's be clear on what exactly it is you are advocating. And the reason I can know you are an advocate for child molestation is the comments from your crony that keeps running his mouth all he talks about is sex, getting his fucking little dick wet. He doesn't mention anything about wanting a relationship of sex being a bonus. No, he's interested in sex, 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 sex. However, let's listen to you say it to you. I am, again, and I'm not trying to advocate relationships at this point between children and grown adults. I don't think you understand that they would want to have some sort of actual meaningful connection and that sex would be sort of a bonus to that. And I think you're, you're not entirely understanding the ramifications and the frameworking of the situations here. I would say you definitely aren't looking at the ramifications of the situation of an adult fucking a child. And that is exactly what your crony from the Netherlands likes to do. The damage physically that would result in that child, you simply aren't thinking about in your framework. But see, going back to fetishes, going back to relationships, going back to sort of the other part of this topic here uh, really quick is what of polyamorous people? Polyamory is having... Uh, meaningful connections with more than one person where again it's not just a sexual thing where one or more people decide that they are going to be with each other maybe they're exclusive to each other and another party or maybe they are free to be polyamorous in their lives and be around things uh, sometimes there's married couples who have a polyamorous third or fourth partner in there. And there's a lot of understanding that has to go along with the wiring of being polyamorous. Uh, 
And again, you fucking idiot. There is no healthy relationship between adults that all they think about is sex, 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 sex. There is more to life than just sex. By that same token, there is no excuse for an adult to ever want to have a sexual relationship with a child. Sex with a child is not a bonus, that's child molestation. The aspect of you bringing up about you being polyamorous ties in directly with your earlier statements about a person not just being interested in male, female, whatnot, but that they have other interests, yes. And one of those with a child molester is their interest is also in sex with children. That is also the interest of a pedophile. That is why I strongly suspect you, sir, are a pedophile and sexual abuser of children, a child molester. Which, again, further try illustrates, because I am polyamorous, so I understand the mechanics of it. This isn't just something of that nature. Uh, I am or have a few polyamorous relationships. So, again, I understand the mindset by experience, experimentation, through observation and notation. And, again, I would point out that someone that is a pedophile or slash child molester is someone that is in a relationship other than that of adult with a child. A lot of times it's married. Sometimes it's even that the child is their grandchild. The truth of the matter is I have yet to see one case of a pedophile sexually abusing a child that isn't in another type of relationship. The idea that the two are separate is an idea that you are making up. The evidence does not show it. Additionally, for you to say about, you, ha you know through experimentation and so forth, of multiple different types of relationships and the fact that you are advocating ch pedophilia slash child molestation indicates to me you are a very very likely child molester. In a court setting where the object in a sense would be to show reasonable doubt of your claim of not being interested in promoting adults having sex with children, I can give considerable reasonable doubt. I can also show in this circumstantial evidence pointing to that end. That is why I say I would seriously hope the police and the FBI would investigate you because I, I can almost guarantee they would find the evidence necessary to put your ass away. As far as I am concerned, there's only one kind of therapy a pedophile slash child molester needs, and that is called bullet therapy. One shot, one kill. In all of your videos, one thing you never mention, and that is the advocating the human rights and civil rights of children. Why, sir, if you are not a child molester and you are interested in protecting children, why do you never fucking mention the civil rights and human rights of children? You're only interested in trying to get pedophilia and child molestation to be a sexual orientation. It's not. This is Pastor Iblis.